All right, peeps. Figured I'd show you how uh, how to make a pair of board bracelets. I'm doing it. Uh, people at work started asking me for a lot for these, so I started charging them. Do probably about five per week. Um, these are gonna be Cobra Stitch. I'm gonna show you what time is. But first, take two lengths of paracord. This one's gonna be seven inches long, so I measured out my paracord jig. I got this on uh, Gorilla Paracord. I'll link that in the description. But this is their pocket size jig. Just helps uh, take some time off the process and hold it for you. You don't need one, but I do about an arm's length. I don't know. I don't really ever measure it. If I have extra, well. It's gonna be pink and black. And if my ends are kind of fat, they're not gonna fit through there, so I'm gonna melt these down and flatten them out a little bit so they fit through the clips a little bit better. Whenever I do it, I always just heat them up with my fingers and touch it. Smush it down. Okay, so got my two colors already melted together. Got my jig set to seven inches. Clip a uh, clip through here. Doesn't come with these clips, but you just uh, uh, screw it, and it's got it comes with some extra ones right there. And put your own clips on there. This is the kind of clips I have, so clip that, and you just go. So then, I'm going to do the same thing with the other side, get both strands, make sure they're on the same side, I think this clip's got a little bit smaller hole so it's harder to get through. you've got it just like this you've got your two colors one through whatever color you want to be in the center of the bracelet so like this this bracelet has yellow in the center 
if it'll focus and blue on the edges on the bottom it'll look the opposite so whatever scent color you want to be in the center we'll do black on this one make a loop like this pull the cross so you have this loop here don't worry about this though then you have this loop coming down you just take this go over the top of this string around the back and through the loop tighten her up and that's how you do that knot when you just keep it going do the same thing Take your same one that you did the loop with before, make a loop here, go over, around the back, and through the loop. And then you'll see it start to come together. You can just keep this going. Now, you could obviously do this without the jig. It's just, this lets you get a consistent length. And you can you'd have to kind of hold it and then it flops around and does weird things so jig was 25 bucks and gorilla paracord this is their smallest one there's a bigger one that is a little bit more but I don't need that this stitch the cobra stitch is pretty easy to do so I don't really need it for this but it does help so you can see how it's coming I'll start you guys back up once I get to the how I finish it. Okay, once you've gone down the length of your bracelet, you've got something that looks like this with two ends hanging off of it. I've seen a bunch of different ways to finish them, but this is how I do it because it's um, it's the easiest way for me. So. I take it with the top facing me, I take the two strands that are left and I go over the top. This just uh, leaves me something to work with in case I mess it up. I can take it back apart and I'll still have a, like just a little bit extra in case I need to redo the ends. And then, if you don't want to wreck your table, then don't do this, but I don't care. And take your sabenza, and you kind of gauge how far it is it'll be to uh, melt the two ends together. So, that's about right. And cut. Zippo. Don't bring your house down and well, it's probably a little bit long. Let's see. So I'm gonna shorten those up just a tiny bit. Make a mess all over my desk. get them all on fire but you just want to get them hot if you get them on fire you end up with a big ball of goop which is not desirable and then you touch the ends together just like this and you want to get it flat so that it doesn't leave a sharp sharp spot so I always push them together, lick my thumbs before I do it so it doesn't burn me, and then you just give it a quick push, flatten it down, and then it's done. That's how you do a cobra stitch. This is for a 
one of my coworkers' daughters. So. Okay, so you can see in probably less than half an hour I was able to get three bracelets knocked out. Um, if you want to know how much cord you're going to need for your bracelet, the easiest way to do it I guess would just be to uh, do a length, say, so do an inch, unravel it, and then measure, and that's how long, much you're going to need per inch of your bracelet. Or you could just uh, um, measure how much cord you've pulled off, do your bracelet, whatever you've cut off, then you can subtract that from your length, and then you'll know for next time how much you're going to need. So, But I just kind of gauge, since I've done it a million times, I know kind of how much I'll need. But I usually end up with extra, and occasionally I end up short and I have to start over but that's okay I hope you learned something I know there's a million other uh, videos out there showing how to make these and I'm sure you all already know how to do it but since I was doing it I figured I'd show you right. see you next time